In today's episode, Chef Randy will show us how to make a delicious kosher stuffed cabbage with ground lamb using Prairie Street Prime's USDA lamb rack and these fresh ingredients. Oh my goodness. That is to die for. Hey everybody, this is Chef Randy. Welcome to Prairie Street Prime Culinary Kitchen. Prairie Street Prime is your premium kosher meat experience. Today we're gonna do a cool dish. We're gonna do a kosher stuffed cabbage with ground lamb. The recipe and exact ingredients can be found in the description below. We're gonna talk about the lamb in a second, but we gotta get our cabbage going. So what we have here is we've got a head of green cabbage. This is gonna kind of be like the parcel that we're gonna put our ground lamb mixture in. What we need to get going first is we have a pot of salted boiling water on our stove. Okay, so we're just gonna take this cabbage we're gonna drop it in, and I'm gonna use this spider to help me so it doesn't splash everywhere. So we have that going in. The reason we wanna cook this cabbage first is because we want the cabbage to be pliable. We wouldn't be able to roll it if the cabbage wasn't cooked and, and uh, tender, okay? Let's talk about the lamb. We have Prairie Street Prime ground lamb. It's just beautiful, so we gotta add a few things to this, okay? So we're gonna add some diced onions. So we got a red onion here. We want these fairly minced. So I just take my knife and I go really close, slice these together like this. I'm going all the way through. And this is gonna cook for about an hour. So if they're a little bigger, it's okay. But I like them to be nice and small. So I've got about a pound and a half of lamb. I've got half a red onion. I want to have the onion flavor in there, but I don't want it to overpower the lamb. All right, they're gonna go in. A little bit of fresh parsley. Now I've taken the large stems off, but I don't mind these little stems like this because they are packed full of flavor. So when I'm chopping parsley, I just kind of roll it up like this tuck my fingers in, and then I just run my knife through the parsley, and then I bring it back together and get it chopped up. And you can see there's no big green stain on my cutting board. Sometimes you see that on a cutting board and I've taken all the life, parsley life out of the parsley and now it's in my cutting board. But I want the beautiful parsley. While I have my onions out, the onions I'm gonna put in the sauce as well. So I'm gonna do a couple different things with the onions. I got the dice for the lamb, and I'm gonna do some slices for the sauce. So I just go right through. And this is probably enough that I need right here, so I put this in the bowl. We need some salt. And this exact recipe and ingredients can be found in the descriptions below. A little bit of pepper. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna put some uh, parboiled rice in. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna kinda bring everything together and hold everything. And when the, the lamb starts to cook and releases some of the juice and some of the fat, the rice is gonna grab all that and it's just gonna be just tasty and wonderful. So we got an egg. I'm gonna do two eggs. All right, put that to the side. I'm gonna check my cabbage. I just wanna make sure it's cooking properly. Some of the leaves, I've taken the cabbage and I took the core out of the bottom. So as it starts to cook, some of the leaves may start to fall off, which is okay, just like this one is doing. But you can see it's a little, it's not quite tender enough. We want it to be tender so they roll. If, they, if they're not, they're gonna crack. Okay, so now best way to do this is with our fingers. I'm just gonna mix this up and we're making basically like meatballs. And the best way you just squeeze it. If we didn't wanna do the rice, we could do breadcrumbs, but you want something inside of this that's gonna soak up the fat and the lamb juices. So we wanna mix this until the egg really incorporates into the, into the ground lamb. So you see it was kind of wet to begin with. 
Now it's starting to come together. Now I'm gonna make some uh, lamb balls. You can see I'm just kind of loosely forming them. We want them to all be about the same size, very important. When we're cooking, we want everything to be roughly the same size. And why is that important? It's important because they're all gonna cook at the same rate. And this is a great one pot meal. We're gonna do everything in a pot and throw it right in the oven. All right, so I'm gonna go wash my hands really quick and I'll be right back. Now we're gonna check the cabbage. I also have a big bowl of some ice water. So the reason we wanna do that is we wanna stop the cooking and we also wanna be able to handle the cabbage right away. All right, so you see some of these leaves have started to fall off. So they've started to wilt. Gonna get these right into the ice water. All right, the ice water will help, they call it shocking, shocking the, uh, the cabbage down so that it stops the cooking. Get this into the ice water. Bring this over here. I'm just going to kind of roll this around a little bit so that it can kind of help cool it off. When they're a little bit warm, they're a little more pliable, so it's, it's not a bad thing for them to be warm. I don't, I'm not looking for them to be ice cold. I want to be gentle, but I want to make sure you see how these leaves are starting to come away. That's going to be perfect. So what I will do is these couple that fell off and they're not really a whole leaf, I'm going to line the bottom of the pan with these first few leaves. And it's okay if there's a little bit of liquid on these because I, I want a little bit of liquid. It's gonna help steam and help cook the cabbage. So now I'm gonna take this out of the water and I'm gonna set it in the strainer over a bowl. That way it's gonna collect any of the water that's dripping down. All right. But I can start working from the bottom. Just be gentle, take the leaves out. I'm gonna arrange the leaves. This one came off, took a couple with it. All right, I have nine, so I need to get nine nice leaves. All right, so one of the things I also like to do is if I've got this, this core stem in here, I may take my knife and just cut that little piece out a little bit so that it, it rolls and it won't crack because this will tend to crack. And if I were to cook this to where this stem end was really tender, my cabbage leaves would be overcooked. Get that out. Okay, so to do this, we lay everybody in like soldiers. We'll do six. So now is where I can take my meatball. I can line it in there. And it's very important when we do this, when I lay them down in my pan, I want the seam to be on the bottom. So I just roll them up like this. And another thing is if they're a little loose, that's okay because there's eggs in here and there's rice and everything's gonna kind of expand a little bit. So I just tuck these inside there. I could make these a different shape. I could roll, I could have a more of a roll instead of a ball. But I just get these down in and you can see why I want the seam on the bottom. I can roll that over. And I should be able to get all nine in here. And this is a great pan to cook them in. It's got a nice heavy duty bottom. It's got a lid that fits tight. Okay, so we have all nine inside. They're snug, but they're not tight, so that gives them a little bit of room to expand. And now we're gonna build, we'll build our sauce. First thing we do, got my sliced onions. I'm gonna just scatter these over the top. And the sauce that we make, it's gonna be kind of sweet and tart. So we've got some tomato sauce. And we have some whole peeled tomatoes. And I leave the tomatoes whole because I like that little bit of like someone's gonna get a beautiful tomato. And we've got 
little bit more salt and pepper. Coarse kosher salt, ground black pepper. Then I've got half a cup of uh, brown sugar, light brown sugar. This goes over the top. Last thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a lemon and we are going to squeeze it, grab the seeds, and this is gonna create that sweet and sour kind of flavor, which goes great with the lamb and the tomatoes. That's all we need to do for this. We've got everything inside, the meatballs and the cabbage, the onions, the brown sugar, the tomatoes, the tomato sauce, and the lemon juice. So now we just have to put the top on, and then we're gonna go into a 350 degree preheated oven. And let's put this in here. And then we're gonna take, it's gonna take about hour, hour and 20 minutes, and we'll be back when it's ready. Oh, look at that. Just started to reduce a little bit. I can smell the cabbage, I can smell the lamb, I can smell the onion. I can actually smell a little bit of sweetness from the tomatoes and brown sugar. Look at that. That looks delicious. So it's time to taste our stuffed cabbage. We've created this traditional meal for the Jewish holiday. We've kicked it up a notch with Prairie Street Prime ground lamb. And it's time to dive in and give it a taste. So I'm gonna cut right into the center. I wanna see what's going on inside. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We can see all the lamb, the herbs, a little bit of the fat, the rice, and look how it cuts. That rice is really what kind of brought everything together. It took all the juice, just put it together. Mmm. It is to die for. It's succulent, rich, it's got acid, it's got all the cylinders that we're trying to fire on. Coming up next on the Prairie Street Prime Culinary Kitchen channel, Chef D will show us how to make kosher pan-seared cowboy steak using our Prairie Street Prime USDA Prime Cowboy Steak and these fresh ingredients. With the reverse sear method, we cook the steak in the oven until it reaches its ideal temperature and then we pan sear it on the back end. You'll be cooking like a pro in no time. These potatoes are so flavorful and tender and I just know my steak is about to be too. Didn't disappoint, but with a cut of meat like this, how could it? This was Prairie Street Prime stuffed cabbage with ground lamb. Prairie Street Prime is your premium kosher meat experience. Please subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and we will see you soon.